the originally the the uh, throwdown ring, and then Affliction acquired it, and they used it when they held their two events that they had Fedor headline. So this is the ring that Fedor uh, choked out Tim Sylvia and knocked out Andre Alaski. Hey, just turn a little bit. Yeah. This is Aaron True from MMA Prime TV, and I just got my ass kicked by a UFC fighter, Rob Emerson. Rob, hopefully you have an exciting stand-up battle coming up soon. Tell us about that fight. Yeah, um, I've been working my ass off. You guys are going to see a night and day difference between the, the fighter I am now and the fighter you guys saw last fight and the, 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 the last up, my career up till now. Um, I'm training with all world-class guys, you know, BJ Penn, Jose Aldo, all the guys at Ruka, the guys have a black house, you know, down here at the Affliction Gym now. So you guys truly will see a night and day difference in my, in my performance. And... Um, I'm just looking to demolish this guy. I think this is going to be a great year for me, and this is a great fight at the, great, at, a, at the perfect time, and it's a great way to start off 2010. So, Tell us about your opponent. What do you know about him, and how do you guys match up stylistically? I think it's a great fight for me stand-up-wise. You know, he's, a, he's like a martial arts, uh, more stylistic guy. Uh, he has a Gracie black belt. Um, but I don't think he has it up here. He's only had seven fights, and I think he's fought like once a year his whole career due to injuries and stuff. And uh, I've had a hell of a lot more experience than him. Um, i got a way better chin. I hit a lot harder than him. And... Um, I'm just a different fighter now. I, I've made I've crossed that gap. My mind's finally catching up with my body, and it's the one thing I'm working on with my coaches. My boxing coach, Jason Perlo, is the best guy in the business, and he's uh, just, he's just bringing me up to up to where I should be and should have been this whole time. He's making my hands, my posture, my mind more than anything, and uh, this truly going to show on my performance that night. So. It looks seemed like you were going a little strong there with uh, Babalu during training today. He looked, took a poke in the eye. Well, tell us what happened. Uh, no, no, we're just messing around. It's something that happens with MMA gloves. You know, I was, I was trying not to make a closed fist, you know, because we were just kind of going lighter. And my, I think I got like two fingers in his eyeball. But I feel like the guy's a powerhouse. He's very touched my leg. I thought my leg was going to fall off, you know. So got to be careful of guys like that. They go mad. They'll hurt you, you know. So uh, just now in the ring against myself, Aaron True, was that the first time you ever defeated an opponent via dead leg? <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I've done that a couple more times before um, back in the day, but no, no, guys don't expect that stuff on the ground. You know, it's a little annoying stuff. It's all a little stuff that makes a difference in MMA and wrestling, Muay Thai. It's all the all little, little tricks of the trade you learn from experience and stuff, you know, so I don't know. Uh, I just want to thank all the fans for believing in me that I um, that have had faith in me up till now. And uh, I know my performance have not uh, been up to par and I haven't really lived up uh, to my performances and to my capabilities. And 2010 is going to be my breakthrough year where I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give back to all my fans that have supported me this whole way, and they're finally going to see the, the Rob Emerson that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that I have potential to be, you know, that I could have been this whole time. And uh, every bone in my body tells me 2010 is going to be a huge year, so keep an eye out.